Julian, Julian Marshall, you have written a new cantata called Out of the Darkness. Can you tell us something about what was the inspiration for this cantata? Sure. Um, well, there, were t <laughs> there, there, there was a particular weekend in November of 2008 when, a, when a, um, two or three nice things happened together. Um, and they all happened in Winchester when I was visiting my cousin. And uh, the first thing was, was walking around Winchester Cathedral and having the good fortune to catch an incredibly good rehearsal of the Messiah. Or rather, it was a, it was a, it was a very good choir rehearsing the Messiah who were, who were quite wonderful. And um, every, you know, I've heard the Messiah all my life and it was just, it was just something about the way they perform it, the, the freshness and the youthfulness um, that was the that was the first thing that that just grabbed my attention. I thought, gosh, it's really time I wrote something for for uh, a small collection of voices anyway. Small the chamber choir thing. They were a chamber choir, and I I really liked that particular sound and the way they were singing. So that was the first thing I wanted to felt like I wanted to write a piece for 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 a few youthful, enthusiastic, very good voices. Then on the same trip. I came across um, a quote by Gertrude Kolmar, who I'd never heard of before, who was a German-Jewish poet who perished in Auschwitz in 1943. And there was something about the quote that just <clears throat> made me fascinated about this woman and who she was and her work. So I began to investigate, and I found a collection of poems that I particularly liked called Welten Worlds, and chose one of them, um, Out of the Darkness, Aus dem Dunkel, as a starting point to write a, a cantata. So in, in one fell swoop I had both a, a wonderful text and an idea which is to write for this group of singers and that's what started it off. That sounds very interesting. <clears throat> Can you tell us um, something more about the poet? Because she was German Jewish poet as you said. She was killed in Auschwitz in 1943. Have you discovered anything more about her? Yeah, I have. Um, I, I became really interested in who she was, and I began to read whatever I could find, which isn't a lot. Um, there's more now, but unfortunately it's in German, and I'm not a German, a German reader, and it's, and it's not translated. But I, I have found out fair, a fair amount about her. Um, and she, I, I think in some ways, it's quite a good comparison that, that some people have made to compare her with Emily Dickinson, that she was very reclusive, um, but she had this extraordinary inner world and, um, a, um, and a willingness and a capacity to share that in her work, in her poetry and her prose, in a way which was r remarkable and I think very much ahead of her time. Um, and what, was, what particularly uh, interested me was, was that she chose to stay living in Berlin throughout the war well, until 1943, that is, looking after her aged father until he was deported to a concentration camp in, I think it was early in 43. And there's, um, there, in her letters, she talks quite a lot about um, constraint and freedom, and particularly the, the sense of, um, uh, of, 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 in her inner freedom, that, that, that she is, she is free. That she's that whatever the physical, it, um, whatever the contextual constraints are, that that she's that she has an extraordinary sense of 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 n that they're not going to get me. And what what interests me is is that there's an ambiguity with that. You don't quite know whether it's a stoical, um, resolute kind of they're not going to get me. Whether it's an almost like Zen-like sense of of willingness to be with her circumstances, or even if it's quite fatalistic, that there's quite a strong sense of fatalism in her, in her writing, uh, that it's, you know, it's her lot to face whatever she faces. And that ambiguity in those, in those kind of senses of freedom interested me a lot, and I, that's something that I was interested to explore a bit in the piece. Julian, thank you. We we'll really look forward to this. Out of the Darkness is on at the Words by the Water Literature Festival on Sunday the 14th of March at 7.30pm at Theatre by the Lake in Keswick. Thank you, Julian.